Hello, welcome to another adventure, everybody. So oh, today's adventure, we are back out on Justin's property. He invited me to hang out with him again for the evening at the lean-to. And um, I took the opportunity to set up a plow point. So tonight's, tonight's adventure, I'm gonna be sleeping in a tarp shelter. This is my first time sleeping in an open shelter like this. So it's both exciting and a little bit nerve wracking. So um, this is a great place to do it. So I'm always thankful for the invite to hang out here because it gives me an opportunity to test out gear and to do different things that I wouldn't normally do. So not only have I never slept under a tarp um, before, but I've never used the plow point shelter. So this is a great place to do it. Uh, it's about 40 something degrees right now, a little warm. Tonight it's gonna get down to a low of around 28 or 29, I think was the forecast. And we're supposed to get, it's actually supposed to be a lot a lot worse right now than it is. As you can see the sun's poking through a little bit and we're getting a little drizzle. There's supposed to be some drizzling and probably a 30 or 40% chance of snow tonight, maybe an inch or so of snow. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be a little hairy with this shelter, but um, as you can see, I'm all set up. So we're gonna uh, do a little bit of hanging out. I'm gonna finish bucking up some firewood and we'll do a little bit of cooking, a little bit of hanging out and a little bit of shelter testing here at the Proving Grounds. Some coyote scat. There's feather and bone in it. So mature coyote scat, JP's tarp. Hopefully he doesn't come investigate my shelter tonight. <laughs> I definitely will be sleeping like this. Nice pot, Fire maple. Make stuff. Butter. This is some beef stir fry. Little bits of beef we have left over from the other day. Just some pre-prepared mushrooms, onions, and sweet yellow peppers. Campbell's cream of mushroom. Fill it with a bit of water. So you guys remember the uh, bread that I baked on one of my last adventures in the cast iron pan. I tried to make a bread bowl. It's, it's visibly a bread bowl, but you know, maybe not as big as I'd like it to be, but it's going to be pretty great. So we're going to take that soup that we made a minute ago, and by a minute I mean like three hours ago, and we're going to pour it into this bad boy, this hand baked cast iron bread bowl and see how that goes. So let's get the soup and add it to this baby and see what happens. Oh, yeah, <laughs> dude. Yeah, buddy. That awesome. <laughs> That's sick. <laughs> it's gonna be so good. 
It's going to be awesome. That's some gourmet shit right there, man. Yeah, it is. It probably looks awful in the video, folks, but I can promise you it's not going to taste awful. Justin donated some burrito supplies to the Jimmy Fund. <laughs> <laughs> some homesteading freeze dried action. I'm getting ready to roll this baby up and toast it up in a pan. It's going to complement my random soup bowl pretty nicely. Yeah, you got a lot of food to eat. Yeah, dude. Do I still get $200 or does that expire? Oh, that was last time. <laughs> <laughs> If this doesn't send me into a food coma, I don't know what will. It's inevitable. It's inevitable, yeah. get a whole lot of sleep I was comfortable but uh, there wasn't a whole lot of sleep involved last night woke up a whole bunch of times super warm super comfy tarps got a lot of stretch and sag in it so as you can, you can probably see it hit me in the back of the head so rather than adjust things in the middle of the night I just kind of sucked it up and dealt with it it's quite windy right now so it keeps slapping me in the head back here so um and now it's trying to eat me but it's pretty taut i don't know why it's just got a lot of stretch in it so other than that the night went well i didn't get eaten by our resident mature coyote so that's good i'm gonna get up now we're gonna actually do breakfast today and uh Get a fire going, cook up some breakfast. Let's see how it goes. The wind's a little crazy this morning, so we're gonna skip making a messy breakfast. So, instant breakfast with one of these little DIY coffee pods is what's going down. So this is an electrolyte tablet, uh, drink tablet container. And what I do is put some instant coffee in there and some sugar and some creamer. So it's basically a pre-mixed coffee so you can just pour it in a mug and add a little bit of water but we're gonna church it up with a little bit of a chocolate breakfast here and then we'll pack our stuff up and probably head out Nice hot mocha like beverage in the woods here at the proving grounds. All right, folks, that about wraps it up for this one. Um, 
it's a bit windy. We did end up doing a little bit of breakfast, cooked up some fancy bacon. Uh, we're gonna have to, you're gonna have to check out Justin's video to see the bacon because I just stuck it in my face because it was cold and I was hungry and I wasn't really thinking. So you got the coffee scene, the bacon scenes in his video, um, but it's a, it's a brisk and windy morning. So we're almost done packing up. Here's the lean-to we were hanging out in last night. You've already seen that. And I am almost packed up and ready to head out of here. So uh, thanks for hanging out if you made it this far. I had a good time last night. Basically did a little bit of training, which was the whole point of this video, like I said, was to get some practice setting up tarp shelters. So it was a lot of fun. Um, I was comfortable and it was, it, was, it was good training. So if you got anything out of the video, give it a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. Any questions or suggestions about the setup, you name it, um, leave it in the comments below. Thanks for watching the video and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye now.